Namaskar. Today, I, Krishika Gupta, and my group is going to present a PPT on Panchayati Raj system. What is Panchayati Raj? India lives in the villages. The system of local self-government established in rural areas is known as Panchayati Raj. In our country, the system of panchayats is very old. The word literally means a group of five people. From ancient time, it was a custom in villages to elect a group of five elders or panch, meaning five. They settled disputes and looked after other problems of the village. Thus, Panchayati Raj is that system under which the people living in the villages are given the right to do the administration and development of the villages according to their own will. This is the three-tier system of Panchayati Raj. Mahatma Gandhi, the great freedom fighter and father of the nation, said, Democracy requires everyone, men or women, to realize his or her responsibility. This is meant by Panchayati Raj. Rajasthan in Nagor district was the first state in independent India to adopt Panchayati Raj system on 2nd October 1959. Namaskar. My name is Kun Sadi and now I'm going to present my presentation. The topic of my presentation is 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act. The Constitution Act 1992 has added a new part, 9th consisting of 16 articles and the event 11 schedule to the Constitution. The 73rd Amendment envisages the Gram Sabha as the foundation of the Panchayati Raj system to perform functions and power entrusted to it by the state legislature. The 73rd Constitutional Amendment 1992 established the third tier of governance and ensured local self-governance by granting constitutional status to Panchayati Raj institution. Its it aims to fulfill the Gandhiji's visions of Gram Swaraj. Features of 73rd Amendment Act Panchayat seats are to be filled by direct elections. One third of seats are reserved for women. Provision are also made to ensure. Reservation were, <coughs> were also made for scheduled caste and tribes. Gram Panchayat. Nam Namaskar, myself, Shritish Sharma, and my topic is Gram Panchayat. Gram Panchayat is a basic village governing institute in Indian villages. It is a democratic structure at the grass roots level in India. It is a political institute. It acts as cabinet of the village. The Gram Sabha work is the general body of Gram Panchayat. Functions of Gram Panchayat. Construction and maintenance of public facilities, levying and collecting local taxes, executing government schemes related to generating employment in the village. Source of income of Gram Panchayat. Sources of funds for Gram Panchayat. Land revenue tax on toddy, specifically in South India. Tax on vehicles, tax on industries, which are located in geographical boundaries of the village. Toll tax, festival tax. My name is Karan Patoti. Now I am going to start my topic. My topic name is Nyay Panchayat. Nyay Panchayat has a judicial component of the Panchayat system, which forms the lowest rung of the judiciary. 
they are created from the administration of justice at the local or rural level there is usually one nyay panchayat for a group of villages its members are elected or nominated from the gram panchayats in the area role of nyay panchayat nyay panchayat is the part of the panchayat system which is formed to settle disputes among the villagers it strives to solve petty criminal and civil cases which dispute explain their sides to the members of the panchayat they often been successful in resolving conflicts among people and dealing with the cases related to glory they have power to impose small fines but cannot send people to jail namaskar my name is manas sodhi and now i am going to start my presentation my presentation name is block samiti the panchayat samiti is also called the block samiti it is a council formed to represent a blocks of approximately 10 villages council members include the leadership from each village council known as gram panchayat and includes the chairman or pradhan or the vice chairman or a pradhan functions of block samiti the duties of block samiti include coordinating projects and funding between district and village levels supporting current development and projects designing new development projects and maintaining public utilities man and managing hospitals and health centers and managing school and others educational programs sources of income in block samiti the income of block samiti comes from four sources tax levied upon the land and water usage provisional taxes liquid taxes and others income generating programs grants in aid and loans from state government and local jilla parishad thank you namaskar my name is sheer bansal present in a topic on jilla parishad the jilla parishad meets the top tier of the panchayati raj system it is headed by an officer from the ias cadre it function is to look after the working of all the panchayat samitis and gram panchayats under the district it also executes various welfare programs in the district functions of jilla parishad to supervise and coordinate the working of the panchayat samitis of the district to advise the panchayat samitis with regard to their functions to approve the budgets of the panchayat samitis prepare and development plans for the district maintain link with the state government for the development of the district sources of funds taxes rent taxes rent from property and government grants are important sources of funds of jila parishad namaskar my name is jandi khanna now my type my topic is achievements of panchayati raj system panchayati raj system of india was introduced by balwant rai its achievements are the introduction of local governments has helped to deepen the roots of democracy in india it has increased representation of scheduled castes scheduled tribes and women as well 
Panchayati Raj system now ensures effective coordination between government programs and those of voluntary agencies. Shortcomings of Panchayati Raj system. The Panchayati Raj bodies have limited powers in respect of imposing creases and taxes. They have very little funds doled out to them by the state government. Further, they are generally reluctant to raise necessary funds due to the fear of lo losing popularity with the masses. Thank you. Thank you.